Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing off this new app that I'm working on using Laravel and the Rilk stack, which is React Inertia, Laravel, Tailwind, and I'm also using MySQL on the back end for the database and sharing my initial impressions of Laravel as someone who has primarily used JavaScript and Node.js in the past. Here's the problems model. This Quizzes is a math quiz app, so the model is for the math problems that I'm randomly generating. Each problem has a question, answer choices, which is an array of the answer choices, correct answer ID, and quiz offerend, which at this time is just addition or subtraction. And then I also have functions or methods to generate addition and here we go, addition and subtraction questions as well as a helper method um, generate answer choices, which is what is generating that answer choices array. Here is the problem controller where we have a public static uh, method called generate problem, which is where we are generating our actual problem using the addition and subtraction methods that I showed previously in the problem model. So here we're generating two random numbers, and then we're also getting a random operand by um, accessing that from our enum. So I have an operands enum that right now just has, right now this only has addition and subtraction in it, but I'm accessing one of those randomly and then I'm generating the problem based on the operand. So if it's plus addition, if it's minus then subtraction and then otherwise I'm returning null. Another really cool part of using Laravel is being able to use Inertia.js, which Inertia is available for other backend languages as well, as long as um, people in the community built an adapter for it, but it's spe specifically fine-tuned for Laravel. And what Inertia lets you do is it allows you to send your Laravel uh, variables to your front end through like Inertia render here, I'm telling you, I want it to send this data to my problems component. So I want to render the problems component and it's sending over my problems array as problems and my quiz ID as the ID. And this allows me to then um, access this data as page props in my um, TSX file for the problems component. Using PHP Artisan console commands, I was able to easily generate scaffolding for a database cedar in factory for problems. So here is the problem cedar file. So this is calling the problem factory and is creating a hundred, a uh, hundred random entries into my problem table. So it's creating a hundred random entries. And if we look at problem factory here, problem factory is actually using the generate problem method on my problem controller that we just looked at as well to generate uh, each problem. Okay, to showcase the problem factory in Cedar that I just showed and talked about, I'm going to run a PHP artisan command to, well, I did it too fast, but to um, do a refresh migration using my uh, create problem stable file and then also reseed the database using the problem seeder. So, okay, let me control R. Let's look at um, our problem table currently. So right now the top uh, problem has the, um, has an answer choice array that contains the number 17, 20, 18, and 16. Okay, and sorry, let me go back. And also there are a hundred elements currently in my table. So let's run that command again, migrate refresh. Now, if we look our top, um, or our first entry in our problems table has the values eight, 39, 27, and 41 for its answer choices array. So we were able to put a, oh, I said first and I'm all the way down, but it has negative 11, negative 18, negative 14, and negative 15 as the values for the answer choices array. Um, so we were able to seed our database with a hundred new entries. And then we could also run the seeder file again to add a hundred more and so on. So it's very useful. Okay. And now we're going to look at the front end, but before I show the, um, 
like a demo of what the front end currently looks like. I just wanted to show off, like I was talking about before with Inertia, how I'm accessing those properties I passed uh, that you saw me pass before, problems and ID, and they're now um, being used as page props. So because I did Inertia render, I'm able to just define these um, properties, problems and ID in my page props and just use them like that. Now here is the front end, the demo so far. You're probably like, why is this just a Laravel page? Uh, so I used Laravel Breeze as the starter template for this project just to get it up and running. Laravel Breeze is another reason I was really excited to use Laravel for this because it's a minimal, simple implementation of all of Laravel's authentication features. So it automatically out of the gate comes with a login page, um, register and when you register it already does hashing and everything like that for your password so you don't have to worry about any of that which as someone from a Mernstat background um you probably like if you also are from a Mernstat background you probably know how much of a pain it is <laughs> to implement that in uh using Mernsec and here is just a breeze okay so then let's log into this No, we don't want to. Okay, so um, since I used Breeze, I didn't, I haven't changed a lot with the template yet. So, which is why you saw the Laravel starter page and then like the dashboard and everything is just like the default when you bring Breeze in. I haven't changed a lot of that. Um, what I've currently worked on is the problems page, which is where I am displaying the math problems that I am creating randomly on the back end and showed off the model and Cedar and everything like that for. So whenever you go to the problems page, it generates a quiz, which a quiz contains 10 of those um, randomly generated math problems. So it's 10 of the entries from my problems table in the database. And also the answer choices for that specific problem. And then you just click through, you pick your, all your answers. Um, you can't go next. That is disabled until you've picked, um, until you've selected an answer for that specific question. And then submit is also disabled until you've answered all the quiz, um, all the quiz questions as well. This is what I have currently. Obviously it's not a finished, um, project. There's still a lot more to do for it as well as bring in Laravel Reverb to get multiplayer set up for it. And I also want to add in more uh, math operations or math concepts to be quizzed on. My goal is to add calculus concepts to this app because um, I absolutely love calculus and that's the whole reason I wanted to make a math quiz app. But I just wanted to share what I have so far as well as all the cool things that I found out about Laravel so far while building this application and maybe convince some of you to try using Laravel and PHP for a full stack project as well.